In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool ball animation using a JavaScript library called AnimateJS. And we're going to be creating this on Elementor. Now, a fellow subscriber was wondering how we can create this on Elementor, so I thought I would make this video. Now, this is going to be a pretty quick video, but this is a good introduction into AnimateJS in case you guys have never heard about it. But it's a great animation library, and I definitely recommend you check it out. I'll have the links down in the description. Um, now, this ball in particular, or the sphere, was actually made by the AnimateJS team. Um, and they have some good documentation on it. So that's what we're going to be adding onto our website. We're not really going to be going over much of the code. I'm just going to show you how you can implement it by pasting um, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So go into um, your dashboard. And then hopefully you guys have Elementor Pro because that's mainly what we're going to be using to add our code. Um, so go into Elementor and then go into custom code. And then from here, go ahead and click on add new. Now, the first thing that we need to add is our AnimeJS core files, but we're just going to be adding a script and it's going to be minified. So hopefully it won't slow down your website, but always keep that in mind. You might even want to back it up before you even start to do any of this. I'm just letting you know. I mean, you should be fine, but you never know. So it's always good to just have a backup just in case. So what we need to do in order to get those core files um, we actually need to go into their documentation. So in order to get our core files here that we need, let's go into GitHub. And then go into LIB, which stands for library. And we're going to be choosing the animate.min.js, which stands for minified. Um, let's go ahead and use those because those are compressed files here. Um, so let's click on this here. And we're going to be using this code here that we have. And as you can tell, it's all minified, so there's really not much spacing here, and it's perfect. So we're going to paste that in here. I'm going to just call this anime um, JS. That's what I'm going to call it there. We can call it library, but I'm just going to call it anime JS. And then we're going to grab this code here. So copy that. And then we're going to go in here, and we're going to paste it right in. Now, before I paste that in, I'm just going to add a script. So script and um, let's go ahead and paste it right in between our script here. Let's make sure we have no spacing in there. There we go, perfect. And we don't really need this. Um, we can remove this, that's fine. And there we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and set this to the body and and we only wanna load this up on our specific page. That's always very important. So let's hit publish. And we only want this to go on the home page. So let's go to singular. Or we can just add front page for now. That is where I have it loaded anyway. But I would recommend that you go to pages. And you go ahead and select your page. I'm just going to add my page in here. And then I'm going to click save and close. And then let's go ahead and click publish that. Alrighty. So... Now from here, we need to go back into our code, Elementor code. And then now we need to actually add um, the script for the ball or the sphere animation. So we're going to add new again. Now we could have added it all in one, um, but I'm just going to separate it. So I'm going to call this um, ball animation. And then um, we're going to add this, make sure this is set to the bottom end. And let's go ahead and grab our script here. So it's this one here. So just grab this one. And then I'm going to add a script. And I'm going to paste it right in here. There we go. So you don't really need to touch anything. Just add it right in, right in between your script. And then go and click publish and now choose your page. We're going to choose our home page again. And mine is a home. And we're going to go ahead and click save and close. There we go. Okay. So now that we have all that added, we're going to go into our page and we just need to add the HTML. So I'm going to go and click on my home page here. And go into the editor 
so before i add my ball here i actually want to change my background um just so then we can see the ball a bit better here because i did notice that we might not see it that well so i want to grab this background color so i'm just going to use my color picker here um i think i can just grab it from the body but i'm just going to use this for now i think it's right never mind so let me grab it and use this one here and change my background color i think i added it in here yes there we go so now let's add our ball here so add a section and then go into your elements and search for html and go ahead and drag in your html element and from here we're going to paste our html so let's go back into our code pen let's go ahead and copy our html here and let's paste that right in here there we go and now let's go back to code pen and let's grab our css now we don't need this body css but i'm just going to copy it anyway and just remove it once i paste it so on my html element i'm going to go into advanced and then go into custom css i paste it right in here and remove this body element it's very important because it will mess with your um your site okay so let's add some spacing to this so it's just more in the center what we could do anyway we can go into our section here and then set up a min height and we can set this to view height of 100 i would say and that's perfect and then we can click update now let's take a look at this and let's see if it works and there we have it this is working perfectly and i know that it is mobile optimized as well which is really cool um so I can go in here and then check it out on mobile as well. Let me set this to responsive. And then bring this down. As you can tell, it still looks pretty good on most devices. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so that's, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now I do have courses on Elementor in case you want to improve your Elementor skills. I'll have those down in the description and of course it supports the channel. Now as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.